so shocked about that. That was the end of the Republic. Oh, my Lord. How Definitely. can we survive with these lies from late night hosts being retweeted by cable news hubs? How can, how can the Republic? Yeah. <laughs> I like laughing. Joe provides us with a lot of laughs. If you're wondering what the hell you're watching, it all started a few weeks ago when Old Murder and Joe, as I like to call him, received some backlash after he dubiously claimed that everyone knew that the coronavirus was coming and it was only Trump who was dumb and didn't see it. We've heard, Zeke Emanuel, that nobody could have seen this coming. The fact is everybody saw this coming. Everybody saw this coming in early January, so. Well, beside the fact that Trump had formed the task force Force and shut down travel from China in mid to late January. And so he clearly saw it coming. But there's also those pesky Democrats like de Blasio and Pelosi who were downplaying it all in mid-February to March. Hell, Dr. Fauci himself, the media's hero, was advising everyone that the flu was a bigger threat in mid-February. So although we don't want people to be worried now, I think we need to realize that this could change. So right now, don't worry about it. Be more concerned about influenza, which is going into a second peak for the season. Sorry for interrupting. We'll get right back into the video. But first, just give me a quick minute to tell you about this free special offer for my subscribers. It's tough right now to get your hands on gold. Dealers just can't get enough, but we know it's time to protect your wealth time to protect your family. Did you know that you can buy, sell, and spend physical gold with Swipe with Gold? It's super easy with our mobile app to buy real gold for better financial security. Just visit www.swipewithgold.com and download the app. Register and your prepaid debit MasterCard will be delivered by mail in just a few days for free. When you get your card, you just load on your cash. Then you're ready to buy, sell, and spend in real gold. It's that simple. You can withdraw your money anytime at any ATM that accepts MasterCard. So visit www.swipewithgold.com. That's www.swipewithgold.com and download the app right now to get your free card and start using real gold as money. Oh, and then there's the fact that not even Scarborough had mentioned the coronavirus on Twitter until the end of February. Come to think of it, Joe Scarborough had de Blasio on his show to downplay the virus outbreak on March 10th. Well, 8.6 million people here. We have 25 cases as of this morning, uh, and we care deeply about each of those individuals, but against the backdrop of 8.6 million people, and for the vast majority of New Yorkers, life is going on pretty normally right now, and we want to encourage that. If you're under 50 and you're healthy, which is most New Yorkers, uh, there's very little threat here. Now back to Joe's fainting couch breakdown. It's so interesting, Willie, that you have all of these anti- anti-Trump posers who pull out their fainting couches anytime anybody in the media makes a mistake. Isn't it funny how all these mistakes only ever cut one way against Republicans? And yet those fainting couches uh, are not used. <laughs> that reminds me of what we used to be. <laughs> you really worked hard on that one, didn't you, Joe? So he's talking about yesterday when NBC got caught deceptively editing that interview video of A.G. Barr. And actually earlier in the week, another deceptively edited video of Pence that Scarborough himself retweeted. <laughs> Let me say this again, because the Trump <laughs> liars got out their fainting couches when I said that everybody knew in early January. It's all I said to Zeke Emanuel one time. Everybody freaked out, said I was a liar, I was a sociopath. The fainting couches for the these Trump apologists and Russian uh, 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 idiots uh, and bots. <laughs> the fainting couch thing is hilarious. He really thinks he came up with a doozy and is wrecking all the Trumpsters. I mean, someone should have stepped in there and stopped him from making such a fool of himself. You're seriously calling your critics Russian bots? Really? His guest looks like he's uncomfortably attempting to appear like he's entertained by it all. What else is there to say here? He gets paid to get on the air and pretend like he's outraged that his network is getting rightly criticized for being corrupt. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.